father has come for the chosen one. And soon the veil will break. Suffering's coming will rupture reality. Hi guys, today's review is going to be devoted to not just one, but two tactic RPG games, so enjoy! Last summer, Focus Home Interactive published Other Side, a new tactical RPG from Lightbulb Crew. The events of the game take place in an alternative reality, where humanity is protected from the invasion of terrible nightmares by a barrier, which in the game is called the Veil. The whole passage is divided into weeks. For six days we go on missions, level our maidens up, and earn special energy – Vita, or soul, blood – which is spent on creating new daughters, although they will be first level, as well as improving skills. On the seventh day there will be a mandatory meeting with a boss. If you are victorious, you move on to the next week. If you are defeated, you start over. At the same time, on your second try, you can spend the earned fragments and bonuses that facilitate the progression. Also, replaying allows for the revival of one or two girls who previously died or were sacrificed. Before the start of the battle, you are given the opportunity to choose which and how many daughters will go on a mission. The maximum number is four, or five in the boss battles. Confrontations always start with your turn, for which you are given 100 action points. In battles, you will be able to plan actions using the dynamic timeline system. It allows you to interrupt enemy attacks and build impressive chains of action. Each of the bosses, the sources of suffering, will let you learn something about the tragic story of the mother and how this terrible reality came about. As you level up, daughters gain additional traits, with passive bonuses to damage, initiative, action points, health, and so on. And simultaneously, you are gradually opening new fragments of memory, with which you can enchant the daughter's skills, strengthening them in one way or another. Despite the occasional repetitiveness of the locations, this is one of the most, if not the most, stylish tactical games in history. With an unusual mystical plot, flashy images, unique mechanics and a wonderful soundtrack. Necromunda Under Hype Wars is the first video game adaptation of a board game of the same name from Games Workshop. Users will descend under the city Hive, where industrial production never stops, and lead one of three warring factions – Asher, Goliath or Orlok. In battles, you will have to set traps, ambush the opponents, and take the high grounds. All the features of your gang, including skills, specialization, flaws and appearance of the fighters, are fully customizable. The fundamental gang mode gameplay consists of completing randomly generated missions, during which the heroes not only gain combat experience – it can be spent on developing parameters and purchasing abilities – but also find new loot, including removing it from the bodies of fallen opponents. For completing the main and additional tasks, the player receives special currency, which is exchanged for fresh records, new weapons and armor, or consumables which are available at the local store. It is in this mode that all of the key features of the game, as well as the differences between the three factions, with their unique perks and abilities, are fully unfolded. Multiplayer is also integrated herein. Two enemy gangs can be controlled by real players. Managing your own gang is quite challenging, but engaging. You can have up to one and a half dozen wards, but no more than five can be sent on a mission. Each has an impressive list of parameters available for leveling. A dozen active and passive skills, a set of equipment that includes both weapons and armor, and finally, a unique specialization. During the battles, those special buffs and effects are much more important than brute force. A direct attack is the sure path to defeat, 
it is often more profitable to spend action points not on dealing damage, but on strengthening allies and weakening enemies. It's obvious that such an approach also has a negative effect on the duration of battles. As a result, you will have to spend at least an hour on each mission. The most interesting battles occur when three or more sites collide on the same map. Considering that the task is not always about the banal extermination of enemies, much more often it's the theft of resources. You can invent cunning tactics to avoid direct contact. Until the gangs that have grappled with each other weaken each other, or even just sneak off the mission objective and retreat. In spite of the low tempo of the gameplay, Necromunda under Hive Wars has a lot of potential. Excellent immersion control system for fighters, multi-level locations, original setting, and most importantly, an exciting gang mode will make you spend hours in this addition to the Warhammer universe. The Hive Cities of Necromunda. Untold billions crammed within mountains of metal. Vast insect mounds of tireless industry amid the toxic wastes of their own manufacture. Inside the Hive Cities, every breath of air, every drop of water is recycled a million times over. Every watt of power and each mouthful of food must be guarded against rival clans and outlaws. It is a place where only the strong can endure and no one prospers. Except, of course, those at the very top. And yet, opportunity still exists. For the gang bold enough to take it, Foundation layers of the Underhive, all manner of treasures can still be found. Lost, forgotten, or abandoned in the dark. The only question is who will get there first?